Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. I wanna, I, I, I don't wanna dump this right in the middle where the last lot was dumped. I want to take this over a bit further, but the last thing we wanna do at this point is have the wheel drop off the edge of the clamp, right? We do not want to be tipping a silage trailer over at this stage of the game. That is absolutely not something that we are aiming to go and do. So we will tip this one out. We run along the clamp a little bit as we go. Here it is. The last little bit. Absolutely fantastic. That is brilliant. And there's the last few bits. So that's gone out of there. It's on 97%. It's saying 30, uh, 333,190 litres of chaff. I'm just going to keep that one there a second to see. Right, it does push out of the limit of the clamp right there, which is a bit unfortunate. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to unhitch the trailer. I'm going to have to swap the front weight around and I'm gonna do this as quickly as I can so we're gonna dump that front weight there we're going to put the weight on the back I'm then gonna go and get the blower again that the mill unit thing um there's one thing I am gonna do a minute just here and I'm gonna get that one Pick that one up, and I'm going to bring it over here like this, and put that right in near the fence here. Okay, that's as close as it can get. It's because of where it unfolds. It's sort of got an invisible mark on it where it unfolds. It's a bit, bit of a shame, really. Okay, the combine is saying that it's finished. So we've got a grain job that we're done with. I tell you what, before I finish doing this bit, before I load that and we get the clamp sheeted down, let's go over to the silage over here. Not the silage. Let's go over to the other bit. Uh, you are going next to the road. I'm going to slow this one down because otherwise we're going to end up doing this again. And I want to stop the train just up here so that it goes just out past where the lights are flashing. So I only want to go on a little bit further. Lights are still flashing. There's a red... There's a, a little yellow box on the ground just there. I think I need to get to that one because I can still see those lights flashing over there. There. Yellow box on the ground. As soon as I get to that one... It goes through. And that side doesn't open up yet. That'd be the other yellow box on the ground I've just seen here. Right, let's have you. Let me go to the combine a minute and just open that one out. So I've got another 3,600 litres on here. If we take a look, we are on 84% complete on the job. If I take this bit out, we can literally just go to the grain mill and dump everything out from the trailer as soon as we've got the first bit in everything else is sold at profit so this is barley felsburn grain mill does oh the standard grain mill is a not as good a price as felsburn grain mill but it's close enough that it's not worth the effort of um like traveling over loading up the train and moving it it's just not going to be worth the bother so we will leave it here we'll just tip everything out into the grain mill over there and then uh, get the extra money from it so we'll get all the money that we get from selling the grain the contract is complete and the excess goes straight into the bank account so it's gonna be interesting to see what we get from this 4,826 euros right now I'll then go, as soon as I've tipped this out, we'll then sort of finish the contract and we'll get another combining job going. So we tip all of this out right here. That's going to be all of the job done. And how much we're going to get? 4826 is the magic number. And there we've got a good like 4,000 litres. We get another 1,960 uh, euros coming in for that. I'll jump out of here a second, let that one drop back down, and then we go into here and harvest. Uh, we collect another 1,800 on there. 
So I've got about three and a half thousand for doing that job. That's not bad, actually. That's not too bad. So we've got field eight is all the way over there. I've got uh, field eight is barley. Field 10 is wheat to the supermarket. So I can do both of those jobs at the same time. Going to the same location, it won't matter because it's two different crops. Uh, field 11, that's corn. That's also going to the supermarket, so I can do so. 8, 10, and 11. 8, 10, 11 over there. That's to the supermarket. So all of those are the supermarket so far. This one here is corn, also to the supermarket. So those two have got to be kept separate, 11 and 17. 18 is barley to the grain mill. So that one could be run at the same time. So if I do one of 11 or 17, I can then have the other four jobs running at the same time after we've dealt with the silage and we can so that one over there at 17 or 11 we'll do the one at 11 first because it's closer so we get there quicker and we will borrow items to start this one because those other four jobs i can have them running at the same time i've got barley to the supermarket i've got wheat to the supermarket I'll have corn to the supermarket, and then I'll have barley to the grain mill. So I'll be able to take each of these different jobs and take each of them to the different locations. At least this is what I'm hoping. I mean, maybe we won't do the two barley ones at the same time either. So maybe I should do, maybe I should do at the moment, 17 and 18, get those underway. We'll start off with doing 17 anyway. So um, let's borrow items. So we get this one underway right now. So we're going to start off by having, actually, we're going to start off by going for that one because I need to load it from the side. I've got double trailers for this. That's good. I like the fact that we got double trailers for this. I'm going to take the corn header trailer and i'm going to put that one over there so that the combine can more easily get to it and load it up uh then we're gonna go with so which one is the better trailer to put i would guess this one is the better one to have on the front and then put the other one on behind because this one puts the weight on the tractor whereas the other one doesn't put any weight on the tractor so i would guess it's better to do it this way round to like have a, a stronger drive on the track that's that's my guess I, I i i'm not entirely sure but that would be my guess because if i got a brake sharp i would guess that it's probably better this way round than the other because you haven't got the pressure building up on the turntable so much and like overall that would be a, a, a better thing um looking at this this is a narrower header than the one that we tried to drive down the road just now so i'm thinking that we'd have a better chance of this not to mention the fact that everything is like been plowed out of the way anyway so i'm just gonna try doing it like this now i need to get to field 13 so i want to i'm, I'm gonna basically i'm gonna come out of here and I'm going to drive down the road this way only as... F yeah, see, we've got a lot more space now. Slightly narrower, so I don't need the header trailer at all. I'm just taking it with me because we've got a few other jobs that are going to be taking up space in that yard. And so I don't want the header trailer taking up room. I know that the job we're doing isn't down this road. We're actually just using the lane as a shortcut because we're using the combine. And we do work for all of these farmers anyway, so they're more than happy for us to drive the combine along their tracks to get to another field so that we can avoid the roads uh, because it means then we can get to their jobs later on faster than we would otherwise be able to if we had to go round the, the longer way round um, in, in just in order to be able to reach everybody. So, you know... We're all pitching in here, like all the farmers are all helping each other out. That's, that's basically what's happening here. This trailer, I'm going to leave pretty much right there, I think. And then I'm going to go whizzing up this side. And I'm going to start on this edge of the field up here. I'll go and get the tractor and trailer in a minute. Don't worry about it just for a second. 
So I need to very carefully sort of get started out on the edge over here. I'll do it from here. If we start unfolding that combine... Uh, on a, okay, no, I didn't want to do that. Escape. Uh, what am I looking to do? Control H is the one that I'm looking to do. And then I want to go into settings. And I like to have that at a 100% turn angle. Okay. Let me go back to you. And then I'm going to start this one up like this. Why aren't you running? Uh... Okay, this is weird. This is very, very weird. Why aren't you running? I know it's res... <laughs> I'm up here on field 11, ready to get started on this one. And I'm supposed to be up on field 7. I wondered why it wasn't working. <laughs> okay, this is embarrassing. Um, yeah, hands up who noticed did, did, did anybody notice yeah you know thanks thanks for the heads up there um <laughs> i genuinely thought i'd pick this one up first i, I really did I, I i genuinely thought i'd pick this one up first um you know the header can stay where it is the head well head of trailer that one can just stay where it is i don't think that matters uh we'll come out here and we'll jump right down i can't believe i got the wrong field how embarrassing that's really bad. You know, I know that we're using the tracks and, you know, all the farmers are helping each other out by letting me drive the combines up and down between their rows. Um, but going into the wrong field, I don't think they're quite so forgiving about that. You know, they're, they're, they're quite happy for me to go and use the tracks that they've got, you know, for shortcuts so that I can more easily get from one crop to the other. But I really do think that some of them are going to get upset if I start trying to combine the wrong field first. So, it's this one over here that we want. That's the one that we want right there. So, you can head off up through there. I'm going to jump over and I'm going to get this one. And I'm going to run down the road and get the corn. Uh, we don't need to unload anything yet, but I'm going to run down the road with this one. 65k we can do with this one, which is actually really cool. Um... So I, I'll run up the road and park it on the side of the field so that it is ready to unload the first little lot of the crop that we're going to be taking off. And then we can go back and we carry on with our side. Oh, actually, I might get field 18 running at the same time because that's the barley job. And there's two barley jobs and two corn jobs. So if I've got one of each of them running at the moment, then we can deal with the other three jobs after that. So I think we will actually get the barley job going. Then we can finish up doing our silage. And after that, then we can start looking at the other three combine jobs that we're going to be um, trying to do. Because these combine jobs, these are going to be making us some decent cash. Like the amount of grain that we got off of that last one uh, was almost like the money we got from actually i think the money we got from the grain one of them was 1800 and one of them was 19 i think we had 1900 from selling the grain and 1800 from completing the contract so we had more money from selling the grain from the field than we did from anything else now i don't know if that's down to the fact that we had done plenty of fertilizer on all of the fields or not but if it is then uh, you know, excellent. But I'll, I'll check the map in a second and we'll see because I'm pretty certain that it will have an effect on the yield. Now, the only thing is it's on, it's set on stop at the moment and I don't want it to be set on stop. So I'm just going to go there. I forgot to change that setting. Wait during unload off. Okay. And let's get rid of that bit and then go to you. Seriously, start the engine. I only went that little short distance. I'll let the combine turn the corner here. While that one's sorting itself out. 
if we go back up, so it's field 18 that we want. So let's actually make sure that I do get field 18. That's the correct one right there. I want to borrow items here. Like that. So I've got the stuff now. It's at the yard and it's ready to go and load up. So let's bring you in around here. And now the combine will keep going as I travel down alongside it. We can take off the little bit of corn that's in here. 3,000 liters in here at the moment. It's not a massive amount. But it will just help us to keep the combine running. That's all we want. We just want things to just keep trickling over. So you will go to there and that's everything done okay so that's you next i want to come down here so we've got the same setup that we had last time uh this time i'm going to take this header trailer and i'm going to move it out of the way and then i'm going to have the combine unload the uh to i'm going to put the combine out here and we're going to actually put the header onto the header trailer and we're going to take it because it doesn't fit up through the road and this one, I mean, we've only got to get down the road a little bit and then across the field. So it's, it's not like we've got to go a really long way, but I still think that we should do it properly. So you're going to go to there, and then I'm going to go to this combine. And I'm going to swing in around like that. There, hook up, and then I'm going to swing in around this way. There we go. Right. Now, you've got to make sure that you line these up correctly. Because if you don't, they tend to flop off onto the floor. I don't really want that to happen. So, let's just bring that one down there. Right. That seems actually pretty good. That's fairly well balanced on there. So, hopefully, it will be able to stay there without... Oops. It won't stay there if I do things like that. I know that much. Right. It's just far enough back to be all right there. Sometimes, the like, if you accidentally put the header just a little bit too far forward, it definitely causes problems. I really like the look of the combine and header traveling along. I always think that that looks really cool. There's something about that there that just looks really cool. I am going to cut through... Well, actually, I don't need to... I was, uh, I'm thinking I'm going back up to the field that we mistakenly went to try and start just now, but I'm not. I'm actually going up here to field 18, which is this one just up here. And I don't actually have anything that I need to worry about with this field. So I'll bring you over to here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this header trailer sort of across the way like that and then I can get round it here there just right round the edge I didn't actually have to drive onto the crop there and this has got me just enough room here to be able to hook that one on excellent and then back up like that and we are good to go excellent right so I want to engage the straw chopper I want to unfold the combine I want to put that one out like that that's ready to cut swing you in round like this and you are going to start right here. So then I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to turn that one up to 100%. And I want weight during unload switched off. There and away we go. Right. You're going to run up through there and rudely go and throw a load of chopped straw onto the neighbor's field. But we'll just ignore the fact that you've done that. I'm then going to go to this one and I'm going to rush down the road and just have this one in the field there ready and waiting to take some grain off. I'll then jump over to the fast track and unload some grain from the trailer uh, from the combine there into the trailer for the fast track and then back to the silage clamp. Right, you come up through here. And we'll just wait on the edge of the field. I'm just going to park this one right here. I don't think I need to go anywhere else. And I'm hoping that header trailer isn't going to be in the way of the combine either. But I'm 
pretty sure it will be all right right there. So you can go here. Then I can start this one up. He is on his second time round. He is there. I think he is. Yes, he's on his second time round right there. And he's just now turning in to begin the third time around. I'm going to let him do a few more passes around the outside edge of the field just because it's easier to unload and it's not actually losing us very much time doing the turns. Um, it's easier to keep track of unloading the combine because if we've got it moving up and down the rows, I have to keep stopping and backing the combine out round and stuff like that. I can't just let him keep going. I've got to keep a much closer eye on what they're doing. So I'll let him just keep going like this for a minute. Take all of that out. So we got nine, ten thousand litres of corn in here already. I'm wondering with this one if we're going to be able to actually finish the whole job or not. Now we can start you up. Um, with just those first lot of trailers. I don't think we will. I think we're going to end up having to like move things around. Right. This here, I'm going to need to take a fair bit off the front, I think. So I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to lower that down and then we'll pick it up. Okay, I'm trying to go for... Uh, yes, yeah, because I'm trying to go backwards. It would help if I went in the right direction. So if we do that, that does actually pick everything up off the floor. That's good. I want to go in this direction. See, I'm going to take a good slice back from the front of the clamp. Just so that we've got plenty of room to sort of move up and down there a few times with like the trailer and the roller and stuff. And I don't have a whole load sticking out the front. That's that's kind of the plan here at this stage. And put all of that down there like that. So now we've gone right back into the edge of the clamp. And up we go. Drop it down again. And that is everything done and dusted. So I can fold that one up. I can now reverse it back down through here. Very, very carefully. I can fold that down properly. And I'll bring it down over here. Before we need to be worrying about the mower and stuff, we'll be using this one again when the silage is fully fermented and, and ready to go and do stuff with. So I can bring that one out. I can drop that down there. Turn. Round we go. And I'm going to hook that one up there. And then I'm going to go up through this way. And I'm going to reverse it up on to the clamp. Hook it on. So we got 5,000 litres of chaff. We just need to get this one up onto the clamp a bit here. And then get that little bit tipped out. Then I can pull off the clamp again and get the weight on the roller on. And do the stuff with that one. Let's just lower that one back down. We don't want to be running around too much with the trailer up in the air. Uh, so once across the front here. See, it's already shoving the front right out quite a long way. Far further than I would like it to. And I'm actually thinking I don't need to use the roller to just do this last little bit. I should be able to get away with just having the front weight... I think we can get away with just having the front weight. So I want to go right up there. And apparently, if you go fast, it does actually make it go a little bit better. So at 97%, 333,555 litres. That is how much silage we have got in this clamp. That is an obscene amount of silage in this clamp. 333,000. That means that we'll have 333 times... Whatever the price for silage is, like, currently going for. And I appear to be stuck. <laughs> right, as I'm stuck for a minute, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to go over to this trailer right here. 
I'm going to go and chase around after that combine, and I am going to unload the barley that it is currently holding. Then I will jump to the other combine, and I will unload the corn that that one is holding. And then we will see if we can get our tractor unstuck. I don't really want to be unceremoniously just, you know, left on top of the silage clamp forever. That's not really part of the master plan. We, we've got all sorts of things that we need to be able to go and do, and we can't do any of them if we are wedged firmly on top of the silage clamp, unable to move. I'm not sure how long it takes for silage to ripen in the clamp. So we've sort of got to take that into account when we're doing everything that we're doing. I'm going to let that one turn around the corner now, and then I will run alongside it again to finish unloading. Bring you around here. There we go. And... Right. So I will run down along here we can sort of pick up as the combine picks up as well which is going to give us a little bit extra into the trailer 10,000 liters exactly is what the combine holds and we are already at uh, 10,000 liters in the trailer we've still got more coming in there's 11,000 liters the combine is now empty I'm gonna follow it to the end of the row anyway all the way down and we'll see if we actually reach 12,000 liters in the trailer Looking at what we've done, so it's only twice around the field and we're already at 12k in the trailer, or very nearly. It's not quite, it's going to be about 12,800. There, see. Very, very nearly, almost, but not quite 12k. I don't think we're quite going to get the entire harvest into the trailer this time. Not like we did with the last lot. So we're going to have to do an extra journey up and down the road. Uh, you over here... I'll spin around this way, like that, and we'll grab that one. I can just run it to the end of the row there and then let it just keep filling up the trailers as we go. It's probably the best way to do this because I don't really want to just stick here with this combine for now. It's on 70% already. It's not doing too bad. So you can unload... You, you, Bring the spout out, and so long as I get that trailer underneath it before it reaches the end of the row, it will just stop there, and it will go and load everything up. Right, so you go and do that. I can now try and get out of here. <laughs> uh, this might not be... Oh, 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 we're doing it. We're doing it. I was really wondering whether or not we'd actually be able to do that, but we have just managed it. Only just. Only just. That's at 97%. It's going to take a minute to compact this down, but, I mean, you should be all right. We should be able to cope with this. There's a little bit sort of sticking up there. Do I need to go and get that roller? It's on 98 now. Uh, I wouldn't have thought that I would need to have the roller just for this last little tiny bit. I know that there is, that there's a bit here and we, we've got some work to do with it, but uh, I genuinely wouldn't have thought that I'd need the roller just, just for this little tiny bit. He says, getting stuck again. <laughs> I seem to be getting good at this. I didn't really want to be driving off the edge of the clamp to go and get the roller though. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. 
And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.